Welcome to part 27 of Dynasty Warriors 9, and in this episode, we're going to pick up where we last left off, and that is starting a war with Wu, because both Shang Fei and Guan Yu is dead, even though both of their deaths are self-inflicted. Guan Yu should not have picked a fight with Wu, and Shang Fei should not have, you know, been an abusive dick to his men. So that would pretty much be their own fault. But, seeing as how Wu was pretty much somehow involved in this, Liu Bei is now rushing out like a chicken with his head cut off to try to break the advances of Wu. First thing, we're going to be going to the Wuxi Messenger, which bought, or should I say, the King of Wuxi's Messenger. Which, by the way, this will have them to come and aid us in the battle against Su Xuan. Also, I think there's another mission like this, which happened to involve a guy named Shamoke. Or Shamoki, sorry, that's what his name is. Shamoki is supposed to be the guy that killed Gan Ning. And funny enough, Dynasty Warriors mistranslated his name. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you folks. For the longest time, I thought the guy's name was literally Smokey, as in Smokey the Bear. They literally called him Smokey in Dynasty Warriors 3. I'm not kidding. You gotta look it up. It is actually there. And I think he's also there in 4, too. They changed his name to Shamoke in 5, and then Shamoke in 6 from then on. But for the longest time... I was looking at the English translation, I'm like, who the fuck is Smokey? What's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing in the, um, ancient China? I mean, what's up with that? But he's, been, he's practically been romanized as Smokey by the English dub because they thought it was a Japanese name. When in reality, it was a mistranslation on their part. And by their, I mean the English dub. And... It was supposed to be Shamo K. He's a fi again a fictional, a fictional character that shot Gan Ning in the back or in the head, one of the two. He killed Gan Ning, and Zhou Tai killed him. And yeah, you probably have seen Shamo K in many, many Dynasty Warriors games on this channel. I know for a fact he was in 6, and I damn sure know for a fact that he was in 7. Oh, and I'm pretty sure he's in 8 too. Yeah, I'm positive he's in 8. 8, you have to actually save Gan Ning from Shamoke, so that's how I know about that guy. Actually, no, that's also one of the reasons I know about that guy, because I'm pretty sure he was in almost every game that had Yi Ling in it. But Gan Ning wasn't in every game that had Yiling in it. I think he made his debut in 3. So, there's that. And speaking of Shamoke, here he is right here. Or King Smokey. That's the game's fault, not mine. <laughs> <You're fighting. laughs> oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure they fixed that problem by then. At least by Warriors Orochi, but still, it's hilarious to know that at one point this guy was known as King Smokey. And oh yeah, by the way, I almost forgot! He actually has a model in Dynasty Warriors Blast! <laughs> oh, well, good for him, I guess. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I already have these stuff for King Smokey. All you had to do was just kill an animal. That's it. And just get its pelt and bring it to Smokey. That's it. But if you've already done that by the time you got here, you won't have to worry about that. That's why this whole entire battle, actually, two battles, not one, two battles, is all one part. I kid you not. Chapter 10 is the shortest, no, it's not the shortest chapter, because, um, the game gets screwy near the end, but this is one of the shortest chapters in the game. The shortest chapter was the last part. That was a pretty short chapter. It was cutscene heavy. So, on that note, anybody's gonna comment how Vashin just croaked the way he did? 
It was like in mid sentence talking to Liu Bei, all of a sudden he just collapsed and died. It looked like one of those uh, renderings where, um, how shall I put this? If, think of Mortal Kombat 4 and Baraka's fatality and how poorly rendered that was. That's pretty much Vashing's death in a nutshell. And I mean not Mortal Kombat 4, I meant Mortal Kombat Gold, yeah. 4 was actually stable. Gold was a glitch fest. And God was in a glitch fest. Uh, <laughs> especially when you use Sector's Fatality. <laughs> that shit was a glitch fest in a half. And there was nothing, and I repeat, nothing that could have justified that. But nonetheless... The, oh wait, the Ram's actually working? It's actually doing something? Well, I better protect the Ram by killing everything in front of me. Now, see, here's the thing. The reason you had to find King Shmoke and actually give him his uh, bear pelt was because of the fact he was going to kill Gan Ning. Which that what that mission was for. However, um, Gan Ning, you could still do that without him being killed. So, on that note, we'll just wait for the ram to do its business and- Oh god, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ugh, you goddamn archers. At least you're not Dynasty Warrior 3 archers. Oh god. And I still have that playthrough. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a little bit bad on the resolution side, but still I have that playthrough. If you want to go see it, and if you could stand the audio, by all means do so. Your skills are very impressive. But at least we managed well to take care of business. Because that ram is almost done. Okay, fine. I'll just kill him with my sword. Oh, oh, come on! We're not going through that again. Just break down the door already, you stupid ram. I got rid of all of the problems. Break the door down. How hard can it be? Oh, they broke it down. Okay. Thank you. Now get out the way. I've got a pirate to slay. Oh yeah, speaking of pirates. You guys probably may not have known, or you already have, but I'm kind of out of the loop. But turns out Koei actually did One Piece. Yeah, I'm definitely out of the loop on that one. It should be sort of like Hyrule Warriors or Gundam... Uh, or Dynasty Warriors Gundam or Fist of the North Star, but still... Yeah, Koei actually did One Piece, and I'm out of the loop! Now, if you expect me to do that, by all means, I probably would, because I like One Piece, I really do. I definitely need to catch up, because... Actually, no, I don't really need to catch up. Last time I checked, the last episode I was on, I guess... Big Mom and... Uh, what the hell that guy was called? Ah, damn it! I can't think of that dude's name, that big guy who basically was in charge of all the Beastmen pirates. They formed an alliance! One that pretty much might screw over the entirety of the Seven Seas, but whatever the hell, they formed an alliance. I don't know if it's temporarily or not, but I definitely forgot that guy's name. My, my I'm sorry if I don't know the guy's name. I really, I really probably was half asleep when I watched the episode. Well, that's what happens when you work, like, eight-hour, nine-hour shifts and want to come home and watch anime, and all of a sudden, you're half asleep and crashing in the middle of your favorite shows. You just can't have that happen. But I was listening to some of it, and it turns out, yeah, like, the Straw Hat crew has to deal with yet another alliance, and it's, uh, it's not good. Not good at all.
So on that note, uh, they're gonna break down the door again, aren't they? Yep. You guys, you guys are fine with that. Go break down the door. I'll just cost some havoc over here. <clears throat> Destroy the enemy. I mean, watch I get a thumbs down because I don't remember who that guy was. And I can't think of his name at the time because his name freaking eludes me. But he fought Luffy and I'm pretty sure he... Uh, Capturing the enemy. I'm pretty places. sure he fought Big Mom. But I can't think of his freaking name. It's not that he's forgettable, it's just that I was half a damn sleep. But he... Kaido! That's the dude's name! It finally dawned on me! But yes, Kaido and Big Mom were in an alliance and that was the last episode that they had, that I watched. And God help the Seven Seas. J just God help them all. I think I may have fell behind, I suppose. But when you have a backlog of anime and One Piece is not one of those backlogs, that's what you do. <sighs> Whatever the case, we're just taking care of Han Dong and Leon Sure. Oh, wait, we haven't even seen her at any time in this playthrough. Well, now we have. I mean, Leon sure is around here somewhere. Wait, hold on. I think we just beat her. Oh, uh, I completely forgot about Kaido. And, uh, <laughs> I talked over the fact that Leon sure was here. Oh, wait, no, no. That's the wrong. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong mission. That's next battle. This battle is actually you fight Hong Dong and just Hong Dong. But no, we haven't seen Leon sure any time in this battle and or any time in this game actually. And the one time you actually encounter her in Shu, it's the last battle for Liu Bei. I'm pretty sure you do encounter her later on, and I think you do encounter her in Huffei if you're playing as the Wei forces, but um, oh, and I think you do encounter her if you're fighting in Fan Castle. But if you're Liu Bei, you don't encounter her at all. The forces of Wu are attacking. So on that note, we're going to have to take down Li Yi and Liu Ah. Yeah, that's what his name is. Liu Ah. Um, I think I pronounced that correctly. I hope I did. <sighs> but I think this particular spot is to make sure that our allies are in the forefront. And oh look, it's already open. And he was the guy in the front, so we're just going to take him down. I thought he looked like he was going to run, but unfortunately not. Ah god, I got hit again in the face of the fire arrow. How many times are you going to set me on fire already? It's cool. It's cool. We won this. And thus, reinforcements has been cut off. So on that note, we now have a force risk so that we could come back here and regroup. So, with that said, we still got two more areas to take care of. <clears throat> Hong Chuan's request, no, wait, Huang Chuan's request, sorry, and advance on Yi Ling. Those are the only two. Well, Huang Chuan's request should not be that hard. Or was it, uh, council? Yes, that's what it is. Huang Chuan's council. So we're going to have to defeat Sun Huan. Ah, there's just so many names I'm mispronouncing, and I apologize for that. This guy, by the way, is at yeah, Huang Xuan. I think he is the son of Huang Zhong, because Huang Zhong ended up dying somewhere along the lines of Yi Ling, if I'm not mistaken. 
but we ended up defeating uh, Sun Huan, and now we're gonna just take care of anybody who stands in my way until they actually get the prop for that. Oh, they're gonna try to ambush me. Okay, whatever. We win. It don't matter. The game finally caught up to how fast I was going. So, with that said, Lee, I mean, healing is the only thing left. But, folks, if you honestly think healing will be. Why do I keep getting knocked back? I'm not running into anything. Oh, right. Archers, I forgot. But as I was saying, healing is the only thing that's left. And all we need to do is just go up to Sun Xuan's fourth step and beat him up. Oh, and if you're wondering about those bonuses in the lower right hand corner of the screen, every time you start the game as of the latest update, there's always going to be some sort of random bonus for whenever you play. So, there will be bonuses, and those bonuses are going to probably be either gold, more coins to give to the coin collector, or probably lots of books of Mutsu. Doesn't matter what kind of bonus you get, at the end of the day, it's a bonus. Oh, and for the record, it's not going to be that easy to defeat Sun Xuan. I'm pretty sure people forgot what stage this is. And for those of you who don't know, you'll soon find out when I beat Sun Xuan. Oh, and for the record, there's nothing you can do to avoid the fire attack set up by Su Xing. Oh, right, and for the record, I just ran into Ling Tong. Right in my face, dude. Just, just a kick right in my face. But unfortunately, even though I'm laying the smack down on all of his troops, we, we still screwed ourselves. Yeah, we got everything. And unfortunately, we can't do anything about that fire attack. However, by rage and failed to notice what was happening. Unfortunately, it seems that Sun Chuan has us right where we want him. Even though I'm trying to go after Lu Jun, who's just standing right there. Uh-oh, this ain't good. The time has come. Master Jiron. Hey, Lu Jun! It's time, right? Crimson Flames! Like the path to the future of Su Lu! Xbox DVR strikes again. Sorry about this. Have let you down. I convinced myself I was fighting for the sake of a land of virtue and benevolence, but all I wanted was to avenge my brother's death. And when you start a war based on personal emotions, this is what happens. No. This is not your fault, my lord. The blame lies with us. We were too immature and foolish to read the enemy's strategy. That's right. We allowed our formation lines to be stretched too thin, and that gave the enemy the opening they needed. The weakness inherent in a large army was exploited, and there was nothing more we could do. Before we knew it, our whole camp was up in flames. 
With the fire ripping through our ranks, we were completely helpless. Raise your heads, everyone. This is no time to be feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to think of a way out of this crisis. Yes, of course. My allies have betrayed me, my brothers have been slain, and I have led my forces to a humiliating defeat. It may be that I am not fated to live much longer. Master Liu Bei. Welp. That was a battle, and unfortunately, it's gonna go to the next battle, even though I'm about to face off against the guy who's the star of the next battle. Ah, they won't let me kill him off so easily. Oh, right, this is also where the maze comes in. At least the maze is better. At least you can see him like Dynasty Warrior 6! Master Leo Bei, you must retreat. My father, my brother, Master Zhang Fei. They are all gone. But you, my lord, we cannot lose you. We will have your back. You must flee. We weren't able to keep my father or my brother safe. But we will die before we let anything happen to you, Master Leo Bei. I will not allow any further harm to befall those whom I love. We must all make it home safely together to E Province. I have lost my sworn brothers, but it seems their strength lives on in their children. I am a lucky man indeed. I am most grateful to you all. I will not allow your conviction to go to waste. We must all make it safely back to E Province. Alright, the whole point of making it to Yi Province is the fact that I make it to the maze unharmed. See, if this was anyone else, it would be a race against time. So quite frankly, what you're going to have to do is get everyone and help them to make it over to Body Castle. So what you have is four missions in total. These missions aren't really that hard. All you simply have to do is just, well, beat them. That's it. This will bring all of your allies to the forefront of the battle. And all you have to do is just simply escape the treacherous clutches of Ooh. And needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that this would probably take about 30 parts just to finish off Chapter 10, let alone Liu Bei's playthrough. But folks, after this, this will be the, well, after this whole entire battle, this will be the end of Liu Bei's playthrough. I mean, I've had some screw-ups happen now and again and I also had some <laughs> glitches happen now and again but so far this happens to be an interesting playthrough whether it's good or bad ill or nil I mean the game anyway but still <clears throat> it's a rather interesting playthrough and I just almost got knocked clean off of the wall by Ding Fung who, by the way, lost his giant hoop and went back to wielding dual gauntlets. Now, see, here's the thing. If Dynasty Warriors really wanted to stick with the realism, they would have gave him some better looking gauntlets. Or, or, they would have actually gave him something a little less, well, clone-like. I mean, the weapon variety in 7 and 8 were pretty, I mean, they were pretty much, like, switching between weapons. It may seem like clone weapons, but at least people had their own variety here, not so much. At least I can wholeheartedly say, in Dynasty Warriors 9, uh, Zhou Tai has his weapon. The same cannot be said 
for Dynasty Warriors 6. Shotai had that uh, skimitar looking weapon, which he shared with all the generic officers. Which was rather goddamn stupid. At least Shotai has his weapon. And at least we managed to save the Shu forces who haven't evacuated. Who haven't evacuated yet, sorry. So now we can have them to help us to escape. The more people we save, the more people will be available in the maze. This victory was made and gunning for the maze will practically be harder because, after all, so there's going to be non-stop reinforcements. Did I just clip into the goddamn gate? Uh, I I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to go to the next mission and be done with it. Uh, I, I have nothing. You all just bore witness to me clip through a gate. Lord have mercy. If you think the clipping's bad here, wait till I play Cyberpunk. That's if I decide to play it. Oh, but nonetheless, we're gonna run into so, Zhu Xing. By the way, Zhu Xing was also here earlier because he was the guy who set the fire attack. However, for some reason, we weren't able to stop him this time. But Su Xing is a new character, and he now holds the weapon that uh, Guan Ying Ping used to have. His gimmick, by the way, is him being constantly homeless. I shit you not. That's his gimmick. He's trying to look for a place to call home. And every time he ends up running into an attack, it would more than likely mean he would lose his home. I mean, I understand he lost his home in an invasion in his real-life story, but practically making him sound like he's going to be a nomad running from place to place and being homeless, that's kind of contradictory considering how Su Xuan is. Let's see. I think we can move on now. We've already beaten that mission, so let's see, what's left? Ah, this one. We'll have to reclaim the fort that we recently took not too long ago in CG. This time we're going to be facing off against Han Dong and Lian Shur. And for the record, Lian Shur is in her Dynasty Warriors 8 outfit, not 7 outfit. Because this game does not have her Dynasty Warriors 7 outfit. 8 does for some reason, but 9? No. If anybody got toned down in fan service, it's her. I'm just coming out and saying, she got completely toned down in fan service. Well, see, well, her and Zuron, but Zuron. Oh yeah, and Zinji, she definitely got toned down as well. And Diao Chad. But Leon sure definitely. And this was like the first time we actually seen her in the entirety of the place. Well, actually, no, this is the second time. No, 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 first time, first time. It's literally the first time we've seen her in playthrough throughout the entirety of this game. Because we never had a run-in with Wu. Until now. Funny thing is, we fought side by side with Han Dong. Now, he's rallying to try to keep this place, and it's not working. We just crushed him. So, on that note, we're going to go on ahead and go after the final mission of this entire playthrough for Liu Bei. And that is advancing on to or at least escaping to Body Castle, and we're going to get out of this place alive. So on that note, I think we could just go straight to the area. Because it's not too far from here, actually. In fact, it's literally a thousand yards away. All I have to do is just simply ride there. 
Oh, and for the record, as I said before, the Stone Sentinel Maze is actually available. And the difference between this and Dynasty Warrior 6, you can actually see. The difference between this and Dynasty Warrior 7, it's not on a damn time limit. You don't have to go to the Stone Sentinel Maze in Dynasty Warrior 7 as uh, Liu Bei. You have to do that as um, as the Wu Forces, and doing that in, for the Wu Forces was a pain in the ass in 7. 8? Um, okay, that's a mixed bag. It's not bad, it's just there. Here, not so much. All you have to do is just simply mosey on into the Stone Sentinel Maze and make it through and get rid of all the traps and stuff like that that happen to be in the way. Plain and simple. Now, you gotta be careful though. Because if you haven't been like leveling up your character or you don't have any charms on you or like the, the accessories on you like the fine wolf pelt or quality wolf pelt, you probably have not gained much experience. And if you haven't, well this would be one of the hardest missions in the game. God forbid if you were escorting Liu Bei for this. Because God, Liu Bei's AI is dumb. Absolutely dumb. Dumb. He will fall for traps, and you'll have to be close to him. He'll fall for traps even when you are busy trying to rescue everyone else and try to mitigate the damage that has been caused by Wu. So yeah, Liu Bei's AI is dumb. But uh. You playing as Liu Bei? Not so much. Well, for the most part, at least we don't have to worry about reinforcements from ZG stopping us from doing what we need to do. And by taking out all the forces here, it'll at least have everybody who's not going through the Stone Sentinel Maze, because everybody's just going to cut through the front. Everybody else is just going to cut through the front lines just to be idiots. Sorry to keep you waiting, Lucian. Now, uh, Zuron will appear, and oops, I couldn't stop him from meeting. However, here's the thing. You can actually break the palisades and jump across. I thought that that was a blockade. I'm an idiot. I should have just, uh, destroyed everything here. I, I could have climbed over the door, too. I didn't think about it. Nonetheless, I'm going to worry about that in a little bit, but I'll be right back. I gotta deal with something first. Okay, I dealt with whatever needed to be dealt with, so now it's time for us to finish off Yi Ling. But first, past me, we'll have to realize, oh yeah, you gotta break the damn barricades in order for you to proceed. <laughs> Give it time, he will. But normally, if we reach by that door, and escort Liu Bei there. This would be the end of the mission, and all we have to do is escape. However, for Liu Bei, he has to not only break the barricades. <clears throat> As I see, there's a bunch of guys just standing on the roof there, and I forgot. Oh yeah, those are breakable. He has to not only break the barricades, but climb open and open the doors. For Zuga Leong and everybody else, all you have to do is just literally make it to Body Castle, and that's it. And that should take care of um, Zuga Leong, or at least his uh, mission in um, Yi Ling. However, Liu Bei has Ling Tong, Zhu Ran, and Lu Xun to deal with. Well, if I had to climb over the wall quick enough, I would have stopped. Zuran right in his tracks, but nope, I didn't think about it. Yeah, I gotta run for now, but Ling Tong is here, and Ling Tong is so using the door. Yeah. Those who stand in the way of or actually, was in front of the door. 
Honest to God, I should have just break open the door and let him go through. Hey, wait, Zika Leon's already here? What the? Okay, whatever. I'll just take care of everybody here. All I have to do is just defeat Lu Zun, and that's it. it is and all these barricades and palisades that are in the way. Three kingdoms. I'm surprised that I don't accidentally ran into him with a horse, but it's all right. We're almost through. And let me just break this door open just so my troops can go through and we can escape all together for benevolence, even though we didn't act really benevolent-like. Let's face it. This was one of the worst wars in the Three Kingdoms period. Uh, how did Zugaleon get ahead of me? Uh, whatever. But as I was saying, this is one of the bloodiest wars in the Three Kingdoms period, and Wu and Shu lost a lot of men. Ironically enough, Sao Pi couldn't really take Wu, couldn't really take Shu. Both fought him to a standstill until he passed away. And both fought Sauri to a standstill until he passed away. But whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, this is Zuron, this is Lu Shun. You saw Beavis and Butthead earlier as they set fire to things. And Lu Shun basically has <coughs> the same weapons as Liu Bei. <coughs> Zuron, on the other hand, he actually has the um, bow from that that's shared with uh, Zhou Yu and I think Yue Ying. But Zuran, he used to be a decent character, but now all he thinks about is fire attacks. And that's pretty much his whole MO. However, we're done here, and that's the end of Liu Bei's playthrough. Liu Bei survived with the support of his people. However, Shu had lost numerous troops and talented officers in the battle. Overcome with emotion, Liu Bei sat upon his throne in Beidi Castle. His sworn brothers were no longer by his side. That which he had sought had not yet been found. Once called a man of virtue, the ambition of this hero was quickly fading. Listen, everyone. There's a story I want to tell you. It's about your fathers. 
about our dreams for a new age. Liu Bei is officially done. However, we're not done with Dynasty Warriors 9. Remember, we have three chapters left. So, we're going to hold off on the credits for now. And every time you beat the game, you get a Book of Musao as a reward. Aside from getting that from Bandits. And speaking of beating the game, in the new update, there's two new horses. Although, unfortunately, one of them is not Hex Marks. No, it's Brynhildr and Hyperion. These two are two brand new horses as of the new update. So, after you beat the game, you'll be able to purchase these horses and they'll be available in your stable. Also, I need to beat the game with Peng Tong in order for me to have hex marks. But, we're actually not going to do that right now. But one thing's for sure, since Chapter 10 is done... It is time for end of chapter eliminations, and God, we've got some victims, because guess what? This is a... PURGE CHAPTER! Look at all these victims. It seems that Liu Bei is done. However, he's taking others with him. Both figuratively, and of course, literally. And the ironic part about all this is, a majority of these guys are still here past Chapter 12. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're done here. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dynasty Warriors 9 as we start Chapter 11 as Liu Shan. This is RPMan985. Peace out.